Taurus, it's me, Stormy, and here is your horoscope for January 2018. We are kicking off the brand new year. What a good time. So before I jump into this horoscope, let me tell you some things we're kicking off over here at Stormy Grace. $3 Thursdays, which I hope all of you will join me for. It's the third Thursday of every single month. I will be teaching an astrological concept live, but in a more private, intimate setting where I will also be doing question and answer. So I hope to see every single one of you there. I'm very excited to be doing this. Teaching these little bitty concepts, allowing you to grab your chart and answer questions about them in a live setting where you can ask me right then and there and get answers is a phenomenal experience. I played with it a little last year and now I know it's really good for this year. So I hope you get signed up. You can sign up for just the sessions you want or you can buy the whole year for $36, whichever you want to do. I've put both options in the description box down below. Now, this month is a month of moons. Oh my goodness. We have got a full moon at the beginning of the month, a new moon in the middle, and we've got a full moon lunar eclipse happening at the end. So this is a month of moons. Moons signal to us that things are going to change. As well, some of what's going to change is just the emotions, our reactions to things. And this is, this is great information because we have to do this kind of emotional shedding as well so that we get the emotionalism out of the way and we can take more responsibility and make decisions from a place that's not so emotional. So it's a really very good energy, but all of it is about course correct and resetting. Now we kick that off right here at the very beginning of the month. On the first, we've got the full moon happening in Cancer. And for you, fair Taurus, I like this because the full moon says that something has to be ended, acknowledged, or adjusted, right? And for you, this is going to be adjusting your third house. So one of the things I think of when I think of third house, obviously, is communications. This is our first thinking house as well. So it's of the mind. So some thinking that maybe you had needs to be done away with, right? It's not working anymore. It's not serving your greatest good. Get rid of it. And things have probably been lining up to help you see that that thinking is not serving you anymore. That thinking, Taurus, may actually be very limiting to you. Now, the other thing I think of when I think of this mental communication space is writing, writing projects, books, recreating a website, even just conversation with the relationships in your life, whether that be brothers, siblings, cousins, things like that. It could be a lot love partner, but I mostly feel like places where you have close ties or relations, you could be having some different kinds of communication around that. And you could also be letting go of something emotional. Maybe you have a conversation this month, Taurus, and you smooth some things over. The emotions are out of it. You can work from the truth, put some healing on this thing. But I do feel like what this cancer energy up here in the third house helps you do is also create something secure. Cancer cares a lot about being secure and that's why you really enjoy that energy for the most part. And creating a secure contract, a secure agreement, a secure negotiation, something secure in writing, whatever it is, a writing or communication project could also be going very well at this time. And if it's not working, you could see it ending the way that it was and being prepared to start as something new. Now, I also feel like in terms of looking at what happens when we get to the second and Uranus comes direct, right? Uranus is not playing around. So he's going to come direct on the second in the sign of Aries. Now for you, this actually sits in the 12th house, but this makes me feel like you have to smash these structures. That's what Uranus is about. Let's get rid of these structures. Let's get rid of the way that you've been doing things. We need to move towards something else. The 12th house space is about fear, closure, things hidden, all of those kinds of things, compassion, imagination. And Uranus is coming in saying, hey, we have to do this completely differently. But what I think that Uranus acts as for you here is kind of this guardian angel, honestly. I feel like you are socially protected with some wonderful energy. You may have people, networks, people on Team Taurus that you didn't know were on your team. So here it is, you're redoing this writing thing. You didn't know that these people ever wanted to hear from you ever or knew who you were, and they're showing up to support you. You do have a lot of support indicated this month, but it seems to be from me, from sources that you don't necessarily know are absolutely on your team. So lots of communication, put out your projects, put out your thinking, 
share what it is that you feel passionate about and kind of watch these people be able to come into your life. These sources of support, they're social, okay? But what it looks like is also you stepping into the fear. You've got to say the thing that you're afraid to say. You've got to do the thing you're afraid to do so you can experience the support of this new group of energy, okay? Now, as we get to the 12th of the month, we see Mercury stepping into a very loaded ninth house for you. We've got Mercury over there now, Pluto, Saturn, who we know is not playing around, Venus, love Venus, and the Sun. So it's a very big, thick, busy ninth house for you this month, which is great because this is our other thinking house, right? So for you, Taurus, this is a wonderful start. You've got the communication planet in your ninth house. You could be learning something new. You could be studying something new. You could be teaching something. You could be exploring faith. You could come into some kind of international um, communication, whether this be you, you have a business connection or a business um, partnership that starts or a business conversation. For some of you too, the ninth house is publishing, broadcasting, advertising, media. You could be getting yourself out there, right? Maybe you get that book. Maybe you get that book publisher because you finished writing it up here at the beginning of the month. You stepped into your fear and you're like, is this going to work out? F it. I don't know. I'm launching it out there. And then the publisher picks it up, right? But the thing is, is to use this energy. It is going to be about broadcasting out and you have nothing but support here. Now I will tell you, keep in mind that you do have Saturn in the mix here. So it means whatever's coming in, whatever way you're going to broadcast yourself out there, it's going to come back with you needing to step up and take another level of responsibility for suiting up, showing up and helping and having the belief that you deserve whatever it is that you're putting out there, okay? Love it. Now on the 16th, we get a little bit more support for that. You have a new moon happening in Capricorn for you. This is the ninth house. So planting these seeds of intention at the full moon, we end, we adjust, we change, right? At the new moon, we say, let's manifest. This is what I want. This is the direction I want to go. Use me bring to me, I welcome, okay? So all of those things will be a place for new beginning for you, new study, new teaching, new international business, new things that are foreign, new faith. The ninth house I teach is our biggest faith house. You gotta get a really big effort bucket and just try some things this year, Taurus. Try the things that you're afraid of. Uranus is helping you. Acting as that guardian angel, do it different, okay? Now, on the 18th, excuse me, on the 19th, we've got Venus coming into Aquarius. On the 21st, we've got the sun coming into Aquarius. So now we have a lit up career house space for you. And Venus and the sun together, they're wonderful. They are just wonderful. Venus is your ruling planet, so you're very friendly, very comfortable here. As well, Venus wants to bring harmony, sensuality, some magnetism to what it is that you're doing. So drawing people into you. The sun is your essence. You're big, you're bright, you're fully showing up, you're out there, right? It's just wonderful essence energy. And this is in your 10th house. So this is the house of career, right? Career, soul level calling, reputation, status, what you're doing, how you're moving, how you're communicating out in the world. Here you get a shift and you have a wonderful energy where people could be attracted to your business. They could be attracted to your hobby. Um, they could be attracted to something that you do in the world that you're just very lit up and passionate about. And this helps you seal a different kind of reputation moving forward in the year. Beautiful. Now on the 28th, we've got Mars moving into Sagittarius. This actually sits at home in your eighth house. Saturn did a lot of work on this eighth house for you over the last couple years. With Mars here now, you may be ready to take action. For some of you, I think you may be entering into joint situations because the eighth house, the eighth house is about joint resources, shared resources, things like that. It's a very intimate linking because it usually has to do with your finances in some way. So Taurus, you could be linking in some way to some new source, whether that be financial aid, investments, um, new sexual partners, new therapists, right? Because remember this eighth house is not just finance. It's not just sex and intimacy. And when we say sex in the eighth house, to just point this out, this is the actual act of doing it. Unlike when we look at Aries energy, that's the act of desiring it. When we're in the eighth house, we're doing it. We're putting our bodies together. Okay, so sex in that way, sexuality, but it's also those deeper, darker traumas, fears, those things could be rising to the surface as well and be ready to have you deal and take some action on them. And we know it's action because Mars is involved. So eighth house. Now for some of you too, you could have sponsorships coming in. You could be receiving money or coming into contact with money that you didn't necessarily earn, but you do get to keep as well. 
Now, as we end this month on the 31st, we've got the lunar eclipse happening at 11 degrees of Leo, closely tied with our asteroid series. So this could be something that involves women something that involves home, family, real estate, property. For some of you, you will be making a move. For some of you, some people will be moving out. This has so much to do about the home space for you. But ultimately what's happening here at an eclipse is we're blotting out and we're resetting, right? So you're having an emotional reset. You're having a housing reset in some way, shape or form. What that could also look like is that your foundational ideas, Taurus, that you've been working on, living on, doing life on, they need to be reset. You need to see that they don't work. And now over the next six months to really two years, depending on your chart, you could be creating a new solid foundation for yourself. But what this will show you at this eclipse is what's not working in order so that you can put in place something that will be working. It's a wonderful chance for a course correct and reset for you. So it's going to be a phenomenal month. I think we've got a lot going on. Keep in mind that Saturn is in play this month. So not playing around. It's time to step up, be accountable. You got to come to the next level, Taurus. Your life will be the life that you choose to have. You cannot blame anybody else for it. It's time to step up, make these dreams happen. You've got Uranus over here in the 12th house acting as this guardian for you. Take these leaps of faith. Let's go to the next level, Taurus. That's what this month is about for you. I love you guys so much. I look forward to seeing you in $3 Thursdays. Get your Lunar Eclipse video reading in the description box down below if you need another reading. If there's anything I can do to help you, come visit me at stormygrace.com. Like this video, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you next month. Bye!